This is the If More Let's Divide podcast. Yo, Charlie, guys, what did happen? We are back again, another week, and today I am in my Jarabia. That isn't. That doesn't get to my ankle. And this was Charlie. Just some friends with you, yes, Charlie. Some, some friends are weak, you know. <laughs> this was sold to me <laughs> by a friend <laughs> who who couldn't give it to me for free. <laughs> he, he he just called me. About, about why did they laugh? <laughs> I didn't listen to the story. Uh, the story me pass. So so he just called me one day and said, "Oh, he has some jarabias, and I have this thing with jarabias because the last time a friend of mine wore jarabia, like middle two thousands, like this 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 is a guy who was always." In his designer clothes, right? Mm. Every time he shudder, trainer, trainer, sneaker, sneaker, t-shirt, t-shirt, jeans, jeans, labels, like, and for a long period, he 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 started wearing Jarabia for like weeks straight. Mm. Every time you go to his house, he was wearing Jarabia, he was wearing Jarabia. I'm like, Charlie, I, I know, I know I mention your name, Charlie. What's up? What 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 they, what they go on? Like you switch, you know they come out, you know they wear, you know, oh Charlie, Charlie. He's tired of going out and all that, you know. It was after he stopped wearing the jarabia. That's when he told me the truth. Guess what? He went to get sec- sec- circumcised. Ah. Yeah. So you know the few wear. So you know the few wear. <laughs> Jeans and all that because <laughs> apparently you know it, it becomes a, a, a wound, a sore. Oh wow! For for like a while. But why does he? Why did he do it so late in life? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and now he's good. You know, he's free. Yeah, he's free. But Charlie, he say he said then the jarabia they make it a pee and things easy. He just open him in, in legs inside like chick door. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. So this jarabia was sold to me by F- Frederick. <laughs> hey Charlie, call me, sell me Jarabia. Cool. You know, you know, uh, top give me like the same price. If me, I call you. You call me. Have you said they say they set yourself to? Then my brother sell. Eh. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. I know really. Okay. The guy, but, but I know. So this, sell. Was, this is Kwame. Then Kwame, we. Oh, from okay. Dubai okay. Come. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. This, this is the only Jarabia that I I own, and I don't wear it. I think this is the first or second time that I'm proper wearing it because. Really? Pressing it is so difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's so difficult. So, 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 so difficult. Some so people, they feel swag. I like the way yeah, you Yeah, 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 Charlie. Mm. Yeah, big too much for Jarabia, mm. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, so what a guan. Another episode, another dope conversation coming up. One. You already know it. I'm one ready. that I've been looking forward to. We wanted him in... I think season two. Season two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it never got, got to happen. And you know, even last night, under Papi's video, YouTube video, I don't remember if it's Instagram or YouTube. Someone asked when when I when when are we bringing the, this, this guy? Oh wow! I'm like, oh Charlie, we you know, it, it, in it the pipeline. Happen. Yeah, Charlie. So Charlie, this one there, Charlie, intro. We know for yeah. we know for we know for we know for we know for, for waste check. time on them because. You know he's well well known and Fred. I'm confused whether we are going to have this interview in Chi or in English. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it the entire time I was driving. Yeah, it, it's because you know the be, name. because he he he's etched his name like if you think of if you think of Chi, you will think of him. Yeah. If you like music, you like rap. And you think of Chi, you will think of him. It, it reminds me, it takes me back to the Rockstone days, the Obrafo days, yes, yes, where, yes, like, yes. you know, they were spitting in Chi. But Charlie, this guy came with a different level, Charlie. Another different, different, level of Chi, yeah. you know. I can't wait to get Charlie, it. Charlie, guys, Charlie, we didn't talk too much. Help us welcome Pure Akan. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie Akan. What's pop? <laughs> <My chalky. laughs> yeah, so 
So before, Charlie, it feels weird speaking in English yeah. with that kind. I, I mean, of course, I, I knew he speaks English. But. I, I, I can't. Do you understand English? Oh, Charlie, kaka <laughs> kaka. Okay, but so so on say you know on on, the, on this podcast, mm. yes, yes, because we we don't we are not able to speak the tree to your level. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not vexed. We say you you tree na you tree. Oh, the end of chi, yeah, the end of chi. Yo, obi obi be 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 ka the ma bofom, obi in special be ka the ma tiato. Oh, levels the inside, yeah. Charlie, why I can? Why chi, Charlie? Um, chi di eh kasebiya meni jo pa. In fact, I'm an akan. Um, both me ma me. My, my both of my parents yeah um hey, i can my dad is an like, akapim and my mom is cool yeah so dope. it's like a solid um i can combination and um also um somewhere during building my my myself as an as an art as a as a musician yes, um i realized say uh, um i was very eloquent with my with my tree and anime delivery when when i'm delivering in tree compared to when me performing in um like in english, english yeah. um and also so, so no, i realized say uh, um supporting my music with akan philosophies um with um the chi language you know gave my work and my music more weight um it added meaning to it mm. it added substance to it yeah. you know so uh, and it also became a, became a means for me to represent myself and represent um where i am from um and you know I can. Yeah. So 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 um with 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 a level of um I can that you speak, you grew up with an with your grandparents or some something. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um there, 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 there yeah. we go. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I was I was fortunate. Um when I was when I was young yeah. in primary I think from primary school to junior high school. Um, anytime there was vacation, it was constant. You are going to the village. The village, yeah. Yes, it was like no two is about. I was not even going to think about anything else. Vacation, you go to the village. So it gave me that chance to engage with my grandparent. Mm. Um, unlike my other friends who, yeah, you know, don't even know what a crasse is. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I had the opportunity to to be taken to the village every time I was on vacation. Yeah. And, had access to my grandparents. They would take you to the farm. You listen to the the language they speak, the music, you know, and also the traveling. When I whenever you travel to the Ukraine and you come back, it gave you a, a fresh sense fresh, of yeah. you know um, belonging to the to to Accra. You know, yeah. it gives you a, it give, it gives you a different point of view whenever you you arrive back in town. And for me, I think that was that was that was a blessing. Do you still go to the village? Ah, <laughs> I, w I was there last year. You were there last year. Yeah. Um, I, no, last I, two years. Last two years. Last two years. Last two years. Yeah. Do you still go there to see your family? Like, um, not as I used to. Mm. Yeah, but I still have. I've lost both of my my grandparents. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, so, I still have some aunties. So I'll yeah, go there and go and see. Yeah. Um, which village is this? This is uh, Kweu Besiansi. Mm. Yeah, but we are originally from Kwo Ubu. Now, I mean, I think it's a we experienced this with um, Hayat mm -hmm. uh, yeah. about the language thing, and then you have Pure Akan <laughs> as your art, you know, artist name. Mm -hmm. What is it about the language in Akan mm -hmm. that pushed you be besides the eloquence and the weight of it? Mm -hmm. What, what was the driving? What's the other driving factors mm -hmm. that said, you know what, this is this is the tongue in which I want to express myself on a through a medium which normally you would want to access people globally. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say the, the freedom, the freedom that came with it, um, and also it always reminded me of home. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to the villages, you go hear some Ampedu song mm -hmm. in the background. You know, um, so anytime. I'm singing in, you know, I have this tone, I have these rhythms. Um, that is typical of an Akan, you know, Akan, Akan and Ghanaian rhythm. It always reminded me of, of where I'm from. 
you know and um i thought it was a brilliant a brilliant um idea brilliant way to go because if i mention my name also if i mention my name anywhere in the world i can it, it was easy for somebody to know where i'm from you know mm. like it send them back um back to ghana so yeah mm -hmm. do, do you do you think the language the akan language has a place in the world like mm. if we are to compare to spanish portuguese english <laughs> you know french many parents speak to their kids in in, in not in a can mm -hmm. but it's it's always english right yes. i feel we are l l losing the akan language we are losing ga we are losing air uh, and everything in between mm -hmm. from where you stand or right now from where you sit do you feel that akan has a place you know when it comes to like you know the the, the world do you think akan has it has a place in the world um <clears throat> i believe it does um in the sense of um it being a continuation of um a Ghanaian culture um yeah that's for that i do believe it it, it does have, have a place but on a global scale i think um we as a people and we as a um a culture still has more to prove mm. you know, to be able to be compared to an english like a language like english or French or Spanish. Yeah. I think um, politically, economically, um, there's <laughs> there's way, there's more to, more to do uh, to be able to, you know, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Be, be, because Charlie, Fred, um, I feel I can tree. Mm. I, I feel that in the next few years, like you know, there will be a grave I I issue. issue. Mm. You yes, have parents sir. speaking. To their kids in english you see i think part of that also is the ignorance of our society in a lot of ways because you should never throw away your mother tongue no matter mm -hmm. what you are trying to now the, the argument is made that english is a global language french also spanish also so if you want your kids to be competitive you're training them but i think multilingual kids are actually very bright so we are not any dumber than the previous generation why you would think that teaching your children the mother tongue is mm -hmm. the wrong approach but, but but also let me play the devil's uh, you know advocate, a, 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 a yeah. advocate here if they learn i can and this also goes to uh, mpr can if they learn i can if they learn tree if if our kids are are, are able to speak tree like pure can you know does what are they going to use it for How can you talking you about like that first I'm, 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 i mean in ghana they will be able to use for communication purposes but if they step out or, or what are what are what are what are, what are they going, going to use use a user for um, i think it's good for um <clears throat> identity you know um let's say a kid who's born in america you know by Ghanaian parent who's moved to America mm. who doesn't who cannot speak where he is his language yeah you no know, so automatically the kid loses his or her identity um but when the when the kid knows that oh I'm an African this is a, this is my language this is what it means um let's say this is what uh, uh Sankofa Sankofa means mm. when you get stuck you can like it's not yinchi so it's not kuchi you know um so these are some of the things it brings a, a sense of identity um to whoever um accepts um let's say the language or the culture yeah. and based on that i believe right now the world is 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 a is, is almost a global village yeah. it is um, and so it also becomes very easy to get lost in yeah. all all yeah. these um languages and all these cultures that um that has been thrown to us now yeah. um, and so i believe when you you know the language <clears throat> at least when you're able to keep the language it brings a sense of identity um to you yeah i mean yeah. i just I would, I would add to it because my primary concern was identity mm -hmm. i think if you are detached from your mother tongue it's almost like they've cut off your soul mm 
the connection to the place that you're from is so absolutely important to your self-confidence, how you move in the world that, because you'll never be, whatever your parents are trying to make you, you'll never be that. Mm -hmm. They will never accept and embrace you. And you will also never feel the connection because they will be speaking in their mother tongue. Mm -hmm. Even with the people who are born in different like cities and what they have that lingo between them that is so intrinsic to who they are. But the other step to me is about, you know, Accra tends to feel like all of Ghana sometimes mm -hmm. when Ghana is vast and <laughs> bigger way beyond that. So my aunties, my uncles, my cousins and whatnot that are still in the village and whatnot, communicating with them when you can speak the language is fun. There's things that you can say in your, our local languages that don't have an English equivalent. Like, it, it won't mean the same thing. You know, when you say it, uh, uh, I'm trying to, you help me because <laughs> but, is it miss is it mashobo uh -huh. is it mashobo or if you say things like that mm -hmm. there's a different i think meaning to it mm -hmm. when you, so mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a it's a valuable thing i think it mm -hmm. helps the younger yeah, generation yeah yeah but i i i i did, I did talking about i i did, I did, right talking about um don't you think that when it comes to that, bearing your mother or your father's name is enough? I think that's not enough. Mm. <laughs> that's, not, that's never enough. Yeah, me, 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 <laughs> my issue is that for I can't guarantee whatever, whatever, if you are in Ghana and you, are, you can speak, you know, dope tree, yeah, cool. But you can't go to India or Japan or the United States of America. You go there and after a few years, you will lose it because you are not speaking it. Mm -hmm. You know, right? Because you are not speak speaking it. Yes. So, like, if, Fred, I'm sure that you, you left at a very young age, you have lost some guy. You did lose some guy. You did lose some cheat. Mm -hmm. I speak pretty strong Ghana. Really? Yeah. <laughs> there may be you had people around you, like four or five people around you who you were speaking Ghana with. No, I mean, when, before I left Ghana, my Ghana was solid. solid. Yeah. So there's those who, I'm tempted to say maybe people are going to bash me for this, but I really think if you say you've forgotten, you're a liar. <laughs> mm. You know, when they come back yeah. and then they switch up, like, you yeah, I don't remember where I had to <laughs> tumble. Mm. I left Ghana for 17 years. Yeah. The day I came, I sat in the car by myself and I drove back to my neighborhood in Danswa. Because nothing is that... Si if you drive towards Circle, you see the bridge and things have changed small. Yeah. But if you get sense, you know Kanishi Market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pass in front of Kanishi. Yeah. You can get back. I guess the point I'm trying to make is people say, I've forgotten, I've forgotten. But how do you learn a language? and get to 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, even some of them in their 20s, and all of a sudden want to pretend they can't speak with their children. Mm, yeah. When the Chinese are, you know the Chinese are teaching their children, even though when they are in America, they're speaking the American language and they have the accent and all of that, their parents insist that they learn the yeah, mother tongue. Yeah. And the Japanese do the same. But, and so but many Chinese is the, the, the different though. You know, we can't compare <laughs> man, Mandarin. Is it, is it Mandarin? Yeah. They have all kinds of different languages yeah, in China. But yeah, but why? Chinese... We, why is it? Be, 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 because Chinese, the, Chi the Chinese language, is it, is it Chi Chinese or Mandarin? I think. Uh, I mean, you know, they have I, different languages, yeah, but Mandarin is, I think, the yeah, most dominant. The, the language. Chinese language, in quotes, has world global dominance. It's, they no. are taking over. It, it, it's, it's actually true. Yeah, nobody's mm. speaking no Chinese anywhere ah, else except for China. They are here. Yeah, but do we speak Chinese with them? They have to speak English no, with us. They have to speak English. Well, okay, fair. Oh, <laughs> so, okay, let me, let me put it this way. I know I can't have something to say. I just say this. The, the reason why I believe the Asian countries have fared better mm. after colonialism is because they didn't take the West hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. They kept their language, yeah, 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 they yeah, kept yeah, their yeah. practices, and that gave them a sense of, we want to compete. Mm -hmm. As opposed to, oh, do it for us. 
yeah. and that's why they they are great at manufacturing right now when it comes to engineering feats they're killing the west yeah. mm -hmm. and all of that but we our sense of identity is very caught up in bruning cherry and quay and it's it's so crazy what you're saying is so true mm -hmm. sorry i can't read what you're saying is so mm. true <laughs> because in school they will write on the board don't speak vernacular <laughs> in class yeah, yeah, yeah. speak yeah. english it's backward mm -hmm. crazy Chakan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's your take it's just unfortunate <laughs> um, to think of it you know like, yeah it's who, crazy who's, who who passed that law who brought that idea yeah that you be punished for speaking your own language language it's i think i think it's outrageous um i mean speaking of colonial col colonialism mm. for me i think for us for ghana africans to do well we need to really go back. Look at what hmm. is happening to us. We need to look at our education system. That is the first one. That is where we are grooming all of us. Because if you, if you give birth to a child and the child is going to school in Ghana, then the, the child is going to be taken through the system. Mm -hmm. Fact. So if we want to change, it needs to start from there. What is our education system? If... A child is born in Ghana. What is the future looking like for a child who is born in Ghana? If you mm. go to school from year one to year seven, what is it? What is the training? What is the purpose? What is what is the the outcome? You know, we need we need to start looking at all these things. And before we are able to do that, uh, for me, I think it will hurt. Mm, yeah, it will hurt. It will hurt. You know, yeah. because we, we are not a single. We're a small country with multiple tribes and languages. And it becomes an emotional thing when somebody wants to nationalize a, one particular local language. Tree being the most dominant because they are the largest tribe, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I can they cover more, yeah. you know, they span more. So people are inclined to say that tree should be the language. But you see, I, I, I believe that we can walk and chew gum. Yeah. What we were doing when we were young was you pick a subject. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm born Ga. But I'm also uh, Akan. Mm -hmm. My granddad is in Zima. My grandma is Ikuyapim. I learned all the three languages. Mm -hmm. I can't speak Ikuyapim properly. Yeah. But I even ventured to try and speak Fanti. Mm -hmm. So let's not limit ourselves. Let's just know that if you're Ghanaian, speaking the language is part of who we are and our identity and we should embrace it all. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so Akan, if, if it comes to finding that one national language mm -hmm. that as a Ghanaian like we want people to know us by by that language mm -hmm. which would, would you pick um for i think i think it, it's obvious that um tree is uh, most popular now and more people speak tree um but i think just as fred said all the other languages are equally as important, important. And, um it's not like we are going to, you know, make a snap and everybody is going to speak tree. Yeah. What happens to other other um, um, cultures? So, um, just as uh, Akan is, is is important, we should preserve other languages as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, did you also live with, with your parents? With your, yes. With your yes. mom and your dad? No, with my mom. With your mom. Yes. Here yes. in Accra. Yes, here in Accra. Where <laughs> did you grow up? Um, Abeka. Abeka. Yes. Oh wow. <laughs> Like La Paz, or well, Abeka La Paz. Abeka La Paz. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Abeka is a place that uh, you, you, you used to play at a whole lot because yeah. I had some friends there. Some girl. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever. I mean, they're my girl, did they? Abeka. Yeah, serious. Charlie, the Abeka girls, they tell me, wow, do. So, yeah, they be wow. The mafia, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Abeka girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 how was how was Abeka like? How different is is it, is it now from when you were younger? Oh, um, I think I left Abeka quite early, um, but it was it was it was it was a good environment. It was a good community. Um, mm. I, I what during my school going days when I lived at Abeka, mm. um, I didn't have immediate friends in where i stayed yeah you know so you had to travel 
I had to travel, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> not like travel, travel. Yeah, I had to walk, walk some distance, yeah. you know, uh-huh, because my friends were people that I schooled with, mm. and they stayed, they lived around Tesano. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. And I was living towards the La Paz area, yeah. you know, so I would walk from that side and come make friends at Tesano. Tesano. And then I go back to the house, and it's like, I don't know anybody yeah, here. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Was, that was how my childhood was. Yeah. But, I mean, I still go back, and, you know, it's still... No, it's still it's still what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, like you said, you haven't been to the the your, your village in like two years. Mm-hmm. When was the last time you went to uh, Abeka? Oh, Abe- I went to Abeka. I think last month. Last month, also yeah, quite recently. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so so when you go, how do they see you? Like the people who like you came came up with, like how do they see you? Oh, um. Not, I don't find most of them. I mean, most of them are grown and yeah. left the area. But it's all respect now. People, mm. people are much aware of what I do now. Everybody knows I'm, I'm making music. I'm, I'm quite popular. Um, mm. So it's all, you know, praises and good luck and good wishes. And it for sorts some people small. That's what it is. for sorts. Over sorting. Over sorting. So, so um. I mean, we are transitioning to you know other 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 topics. Um, mm-hmm. Fred, do you have anything on, on on this front? Just because you guys said the name Tesano and we are mm-hmm. on the idea of languages yeah. and how, what it means to us, I want to ask him. Yeah. You know, do you know what Tesano means? Te. Te is stone. Tesano. Yeah, stone on a bed. Bed Tessa. stone. So you've heard the word wobble matessa. Wobble ma. I, I've heard it in a, in, a, in a song before. Problema Tessa. Tessa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tessa, Tessa. is like a bedrock. A bed, 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 bedrock, yeah. Like, so rock of ages, mm. bedrock. Mm. Oh, okay. No, so that is... Yeah. That On is, top of the bedrock. Yeah, and that would tell you a lot about that town. Mm. Mm. Jo Wulu. Jo. Oh, okay. Jo. Jo Wulu. Wulu. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Jo, Jo, Jo Liz Gan. Yeah. yeah. Tesano to his jaw. Jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah, value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's true too. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh. So you have to, if people lose that sense of abelin, mm. abelin. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. So these are the things that if we lose language, language and culture, yes. people lose curiosity yeah. about. Mm. And then they forget danso man. Mm-hmm. Danso nekro. Nekro. Or no, obi tu kro no fest. Mata heko. Eko, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, those things, they are very important to as, but I love when I listen to your music, man. Mm. At the conf, because I had a <laughs> friend in school called Zingaruzi. Hey. <laughs> he had the best handwriting ever. Wow. He hated speaking English. <laughs> but when he speak tree, bro. Crazy. Charlie. The guy was like, uh, he was so articulate. <laughs> you, you know, he has to be steady. Like yeah. the art of eloquence and all of that mm. yeah. was wonderful. So, Charlie, yeah. I commend you. I commend you. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you find it difficult to write writing in Chi? Uh, am, I, am I asked with a papa um, I want to ask you, like, do you yeah. spell well? In Chi? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Or, or, or your own way? <laughs> oh, you yes. spell your own way? No, no, you spell, like, pepe, pepe. Oh, wow. Yeah, pepe, pepe. Uh, it, it has been a process. Um, I look at Onipakuma lyrics and I find some mistakes in there. Mm. I look at um, Nyamema. I look at the lyrics and then now I can see that you know it's getting better. Mm. Now I can you know on right now there is. Did you, did you, did you go, go to go to school or do you no. have someone who? I think I've uh, had some help, good help friends you. around, you know, like Tun Tun. Tun Tun uh, Charles. Yeah, Yao. Yeah. Yao. Yao is also you know very good. My mom, I'll call mm. her. What's the meaning of this? You know, how can I spell this? I also have books that I'll read, you know. So yeah. So you're taking this account thing seriously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had a guest that I was trying to find out from. Because in our language, you can tell how we governed ourselves. Mm-hmm. It's in the language. Mm-hmm. For someone like you who is very keen on the language, do you ever wonder how it has impacted the way we govern ourselves because we've gotten rid of the language that Abibu is not... That is like a hinfie talk, if mm-hmm. you want. Yeah, so oh. statesman. Yeah. And they would tell you what we found was right and wrong. Mm-hmm. Do you think that has impacted any way Ghanaian society in terms of its political way of governing and all that? Um, I haven't paid 
attention to it or I haven't seen it like it's happening, but I think it does um it does have impact um in that in that sense. Um because even the way Obeka say Obeka asin you know, in a can you have to say sebe. Yeah. You know, you can't just say some words like that, you mm-hmm. know. So and it translates like the young younger generation. There are some things that you, there are some words that we can say it loosely. When like there's even an elder uh, like an elder out amongst us, we can we can you can say it anyhow you want it. But in a typical Akan society or community, you can't just say it. It's all too sebe, mm-hmm. you know. And and which uh, that means uh, you can't just be saying any word just like that. Yeah. You know? So I think I, it does. Am I am I have an an uncle in Ibri? <coughs> you know, I, I'm from I'm from Ibri. Mm. I have an uncle in Ibri, and I wish I could spend more time with with him. Because the little time that I have spent, that I spend with him, he always teaches me something yep. crazy. Yep. Like the way I would say, so I can't speak the Equiapim when I'm, when I'm with friends. Mm. But anytime I go home, I try to speak it. Mm-hmm. And he's always correcting me, like, 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 like telling me things, how things work, how to even name my child mm. you know the way to go to mm. do things mm-hmm. it's crazy yeah. and i'm asking myself right aside the name that we bear aside the language that we speak are we going to be able to uphold or have these rights mm. in the next few years with our kids, like your mom, your father might know some things, some rights. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, you but I don't says, know. Yeah. I, I I don't know how to do things. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, Fred, you don't know everything yeah. in Ghana. I don't know any. In yeah, Ghana. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. Like, do you think that in the next like twenty years, thirty years, mm. those coming up? These Gen Zs, <laughs> these bro, in the, in the, like, are they, are we going mm. to be able to even, like, you know, lead simple tax, like, you know, um, um, a, a, a naming ceremony? Mm. Because our uncles, our fathers, our grandfathers, they are all going and we mm. are coming. coming and we are not learning anything. No, 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 we are not. Mm. <laughs> I think it, I mean it, it, we might lose some, um, but we also have to be deliberate about it, and mm. play our own very like small role. Um, I had a chance to change my name, change my English name, to my to an Akan name, you know, um, as an effort to say that you know what, I believe this is a good way to go, yeah. you know. Um, so I think some of these small small things, like speaking with our children in the home. Um, reminding them taking them to festivals you know we forgo festivals you know like some um aquisidae they happen yeah. if you go go observe them some they happen you know if he if he if he if you if if go if you do them true food you know that's mm-hmm. some food we go feature for house you know like a tour and things mm-hmm. to remind ourselves that this Maybe is too, yeah. you know huh so i think uh, we go feel massage them you mm-hmm. know yeah. you know you guys have been talking about this stuff and uh, Akan, you said something about Ubebu Sebi, Sebi Sebi, mm-hmm. before you speak. Mm-hmm. And it brought my mind to something because normally, if you don't do that, mm-hmm. in tr- in Akan culture, they'll say Yantitil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In Ga, they'll say Achosebu. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's other ways to say it in you know, the yeah. North. And the idea of Entitie or Chosimo mm-hmm. is what I think Mutombo is speaking to now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it that Yatito, and that means you know how to follow protocol, how to behave, how to do. But we are now so loose. Oh yes, right so now. loose that I think we have to make a conscious effort to make it cool again, mm-hmm. because most of the time that it is a very negative mindset that says what we know, what we have, is you know is backward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why you don't want to follow those rights, know mm-hmm. what it means, and why, but. I, I was privileged to go to a friend's uh, naming ceremony last year. And it's one of the proudest things I've been a part of. Just because of how the name that was even chosen for the for the his son 
it felt so powerful. And just the yeah. small community of people coming together to bless the child, welcome him, and introduce him to a tribe to say, hey, this is our guy. Like, I will never forget that name. Anywhere mm. I pass and they say, so, so, and so, I will turn my head because I'm like, Charlie, that could be my person. That's, and that's what our names used to do for us. Mm -hmm. Your name would take you directly to the door of your house. Yes. That's yeah. what it used to be. Yes. But now it's Jason and Jaden and <laughs> Quaden. Yeah. We don't Charlie, know where they're coming from, Charlie. Charlie, so um, let's talk about your art form. Mm. Yeah. Um, but before we talk about it, I'm going to um, mention three or four different langu languages, right? Mm -hmm. And you tell me um, the, um, the first uh, art artist. That, that comes to to mind. Oh, okay. okay. Do, you, do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Fancy. Papa Yankee. Wow. Um, <laughs> eh, 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 I wear them. Wow. How's <laughs> how's Um, I'll say VIP or Kina Yusuba. Oh, dope, 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 dope. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love the Papa yeah. Yang scene. Yeah, the selection yeah. was yeah. yeah, very strong. Dope, dope. Why um, you left my gun, people? You are sitting on my Oh gun. yeah, and gun. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And gun. Sorry. But thanks, no. <laughs> I, I, I totally forgot. I, I was gonna ask Gan too. But Chibu Kaya Gan. Gun. Huh. Yeah, I must be honest. I haven't listened to Gun much. Mm. But I'm a, I've been a fan of Tiny. Mm. Since day one, but I feel like tiny, yeah, that makes me a very young listener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a big <laughs> young listener, part. <laughs> yeah, like it's be you grew, you grew. <laughs> Chai, um, I have been listening to you since you started. Mm. Day one. Day one, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't remember myself. We go way back. I think I, I, I we, we even shot, shot a video for oh, you. Oh, yes, yes. Like yes. those days, Charlie. <laughs> yes. Was it your you first shot, video? You shot flow, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you yeah, shot flow, yeah, no? yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. This was years ago. Yes, yes. Crazy. Wow. <laughs> I heard Akan and I was blown away. <laughs> and trust me, back then, I, I would... I could I could kill for I can <laughs> because like since Obrafo and Reggie mm -hmm. and I mean there were three rappers here and there, but I can and I always say this came with a mm. different layer. Crazy. Mm. Yeah. I, I can always reminded me of my grandmother and my uncle in Ibri. Because the tree was mm. deep. Mm. And crisp. There are there are there are many things that you say that I have to rewind, mm. replay mm -hmm. before I Get it? Yeah. How do you rhyme in tree? Uh, like, like, <laughs> like how, 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 how do you do it? It's a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, <clears throat> so even if I write, it takes me some time um, yeah. to to put my put some my words together um, because it's not just I, I'm not just throwing words out there, you know, to make them make sense, to make them rhyme, to make them to add substance to it. Um, it takes time to to put them together and um crazy on a normal day too it's like i'm looking for ideas in yeah. the <clears throat> in the air so sort of have like i build a, a word bank mm. of ideas vocabs yeah you know so when it's time to write i know i can always go there for for something crazy yeah um i'm asking this question as a preload is it am I yeah. right to to a question that I mm. want to ask? Um with where you stand right now, right? Mm. And especially with the language that you sing in or you rap rap in tree, mm. um there is a little bit of limit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um People say language is a universal language. Um, I mean, music, music, music is a is a universal language. Mm. Music is a universal language. Um, the lyrics or the words don't really matter, mm -hmm. right? Right. But I feel that if you understand what is being spoken or sung or or, or what, what what is being sung or what is being rapped, mm -hmm. it makes the ex experience better. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
how difficult has it been getting on platforms mm -hmm. because of the language that you <laughs> use? It's been tough. <laughs> it's been tough. It's been tough. Um, and it's been, like, it's been challenging. I must be honest. Um, yeah, people would say they don't. They wish they understood you more. You know, it has always been like that. Oh, we they like your vibe. You are so unique. But uh, what? But what is the song about? <laughs> you know, mm. like what's the song about? Are these Ghanaians or outsiders? Uh, outsiders. Oh, gotcha. Yes, gotcha. outsiders. But by Ghanaians, I think I'm 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 cool with Ghanaians. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's like I go by this philosophy. It's like okay, I meet an American and I handle him or her a tree book. Like, mm -hmm. how do I expect the person to read? Yeah. You know, but if I add a translation, then it's going to it's going to there's going to be avenue for the person to understand. So um I'm working a lot on translations and um finding ways to chip in some you know some English words to 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 get it going. Um because uh, if it's hundred percent tree, it becomes difficult to to get by when you don't understand tree at all. So yeah. um, based on that information, um, we are building it up, adding translations, shipping in um, English words, um, sort of um, a bait mm, yeah. <laughs> to, to get people to get people in. Uh, how yeah. how many shows have you done? You know, elsewhere apart apart from Ghana. Apart from Ghana, oh, I think I've done two shows out of Ghana. Mm. Yes, so far. And and, yes. and 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 you wish you 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 could you could do more. Oh yes, yes. It proved me wrong. Mm. Um, it made me realize that you know what's like people are still going to jam, regardless. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I was in Germany. We performed and it was amazing. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it was like. Oh. I was gonna say Germany has a pretty solid population of Ghanaians there. Um, yeah. Yeah. But even even with 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 the Ghanaians in Germany, like, are they going to feel like like you know? Like, like you know, a, a, a room. Like, are they going to come to a show? Mm. By I can't. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel that if it's English, mm -hmm. if 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 I can was rapping in English, like Ghanaians will come, and you know, whoever whoever too will come. Mm -hmm. But this is pure tree. Mm -hmm. So, how do we? I mean, I'm going to ask you guys because you guys are in the industry. Mm -hmm. You and Mutombo. What has changed between Lumba and Kojentri? You remind me of Kojentri, by the way. Your look, I don't know if somebody yeah, has ever somebody seen it. Yeah, yeah, somebody yeah, true, true. Yeah, somebody true. told me. Um, but what has changed in their era <laughs> to mm. now? Because Kojentri's time, Kojentri is not singing English. He's singing no. tree. Most of his songs that are beloved. Daddy mm. Anume. It's tree. Mm. It's tree. But Lumba is yeah, Mario Nam, Nam yeah. mm -hmm. and he was touring and yeah. he was big and we respected him. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think we have this per perception in our heads that they were touring and it was big. I highly doubt. Uh, yeah, I think it wasn't that big. Yeah, no, it I wasn't mean, that big. They were going to the Germanys and the, yeah, the, the, the I mean, concerts. it was for the Ghanaian community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't think they were they were filling up stadiums no, and no, parks. No, 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 no. Nah, it was for like small rooms. Then they would yeah, do their yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. yeah it, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't big. I, okay, I don't was, think so. So then, yeah. what haven't we done? To because Ghana, we we have enough of. Sometimes I think the question you're asking them, we are trying to get to an answer is: yeah. Do you, if you speak in tree, you speak in tree. The realities mm -hmm. are not going to change. Mm -hmm. The world is not about to learn tree overnight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but is it that we don't know how to take? what we have, and make it mass. Because a, a country of 26 million people, mm. that's enough fans for anybody. Enough. If you drop a record and 26 million people, but would buy me. Yes. So yeah. if you get 10% of that, great. 2% yes, yes. of that, you still have a lot yes. of fans. Yes. What is it that we're not doing as an entertainment industry to support people that speak directly? Because in Russia, there are Russian musicians who are singing in Russian that I'll never pop in my yeah. team. Mm -hmm. But they are doing it. Yeah, they are making it. Yeah. yeah. So what is it that we should do? What do you think mm. we should be doing to support? Marketing. Mm. <laughs> marketing is... I think there's so much to do with our marketing. You know, over here, marketing structures, marketing budget, like we don't even have that conversation. You mm. know, artists who be in the studio, they'll make an album and they'll put it out. We're, like, we're not even having a conversation about how are we going to market it? Who is our target audience? Like, how are we going to reach these people? What is the budget in 
getting these people l- hear me out or listen to me it is not there it's zero mm. so we are losing out on so much um and also there's there's no like, there's no good system in 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 collecting royalties and so you 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 work all your life and you don't get paid mm. <clears throat> yes you don't get paid that's why we hear all these musicians and then they are sick and they have to come back for money because they are not being paid um mm. films actors are supposed to be paid you know they're supposed to be paid royalties actors are supposed to be paid royalties musicians are supposed to be paid royalties but they don't be, nobody's paying the royalties mm. like how much is ampedu making in a year from royalties how much how much is that's the bridge i'm not making yeah. from royalty like it's it's not there yeah so so how how do you cope because you are still doing this mm-hmm. i see you going through shows still you recently put out a single mm-hmm. i think some few weeks months back mm-hmm. you put out a, a single and um, you are still doing it mm-hmm. you are still pushing you mm-hmm. are still going through shows so how do you cope mm-hmm. you, because we are now talking about money mm-hmm. how do you you know uh, your team mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. how do you pay them and um it's uh i mean uh, for me it's it's been a, it's been a, a tough journey for me um but you have to study the game yeah. um I've, I've realized there are so many ways multiple ways of monetizing music mm-hmm. or monetizing content so shows are there you can make uh, money off shows you can make money off streaming you can make money off merchandise you can make money off um sinking mm-hmm. and all these mm-hmm. avenues yeah. so um, look at where your money is really coming from i look at where my where my money is really coming from and i i reinvest you know mm. money there so i realize okay i make shows and shows makes me more money so i invest in shows um my appearance i spend more money on clothes yeah, your appearance money, is always you know, dope it's always. important you know because the show you have to you are, you are my your appearance is attached to to you as an artist so yeah. it's you have to you have to invest in that um so f- for me buying clothes is not like wasting money is is an investment buying investing myself uh, um we have you know lifestyle budget this budget is mm. the budget that you're going to use to be moving around yeah. so it's really about paying attention um to the game and finding ways to make more money yeah. because the system here in Ghana dear no, it's, it's crazy yeah it's crazy um you love money rough <laughs> and i'm saying this because in 2017 you dropped an album mm-hmm. um Onip, Onipa, Onip, Onip, Onip Akuma. yeah and on that album you have a track mm. missy kedro mm. you said profoundly mm. and you you actually like so many like several bars mm-hmm. you were telling us that yes you want money you are <laughs> a do. money loving <laughs> I do. human being right I do. no sugar coating no <laughs> bob mali stuff where they ask him so, so what's that say? And the money no no yeah. with I'm that can i can has spirit. put it on wax that he loves and he wants money, money. yes why did you do that track like mm. it's crazy and it's <laughs> it's it's actually a, a dope track mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Um, I think when you come from where I come from, <laughs> <laughs> you go need plenty money. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you need plenty money. Um, I mean, I go back to Abeka and I look at the roofing sheet and they are all brown. Mm. Like it's crazy, you know. And that's where I grew up from. Yeah, you know, like there's no park we even in time if they feel stressed, you'll go sit there and cool, <laughs> and cool yeah. down. <laughs> Concrete jungle. <laughs> you see, um, so um. I realized that there was so much I could do for myself. I had so much potential as a young man, and I needed money. I needed funds, resources to make um, these um, ideas and these yeah. dreams come true. So that was where uh, Missy Kedro was really <laughs> was it's, really. It's, it's a crazy, <laughs> dope track. <laughs> and it. with Onipa Akuma, that project mm. from the cover. Mm-hmm. Fred, have you have you seen the cover? Yeah, that's what I was listening to before. Like from the cover mm. to every single track to the production, mm. solid. Mm. What is the meaning behind that cover? 
Um, who who shot that fo- photo? Francis. So Francis, yeah. yeah Francis yeah, did yeah, the show. The, 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 Shout out to Accra photo. Yeah, man. Yeah, mm. man. <laughs> Maoli did the 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 styling. styling. Um, Fudoglu. Fudoglu, yes. Uh, one Sunday morning, um, we did a shoot. Uh, we one of our one of our models didn't show up. So the place that we show, we, the the church that we shot in front, mm. there was a lady who I think who who that was her church. Or no, the, she stayed in the house, mm. so she volunteered um, to join the shoot, <laughs> and she became a <laughs> one extra model. Um, yes, if you look at the cover, you have me standing in front of a church, which is your morals as a human being, mm. and we all have morals. Um, we have. The Bible. I had a Bible in the Bible that is holding me, um, which also serve as um, your subconscious mm. and like your friends, mm. you know, your family, that you are doing things that they get to chip in, you know, sort of pat you at the back or sort of informs you or alerts you on something. And um, I also had a dress, an empty dress that mm. there's nobody in it. That's also like your desires as a human being. Um, the the needs that you want, the things you want to fulfill, you know. Um, as a young person, as a as a young man, um, but through all these things that we want to do in life, there's consequences, you know. Every action that we make, there's consequences um, towards it, and that's what the whole album was about. Mm, yeah, crazy. Yo, so um, I I love I love that a lot of thought went into your album cover, but. Also, when I listened to the music, I remember on the podcast, Mutombo mentioned you a couple of times, I think season one, season two, mm. even season three. And so he was like, yo, you need to check him out. And I listened back to back to back. Then, obviously, to prepare myself, I was listening again. And I think you have a very unique style of presenting your point of view Mm. and you you seem to have this story format where it's very close to how we do our mamre in this in this country a kind of culture Mm. um you have a song about i was telling you that i struggle with the title of your songs to remember them but the concept it sticks to me. Mm. So there was one like a, a funeral mm. that you were going through the process mm. from the time it was announced yes. to the family meeting. Yes. It's crazy. To the, all of that <laughs> was captured. Yeah. And so when Mutombo was saying that, how are we going to pass this on to the next generation? That's mm. one example. If you want to know, <laughs> you can go and listen to a Khan's album. Yeah. But it was not just that. It was multiple records that you were almost taking the soul of our culture in a can as I know it mm. and presenting it in music form where you get to the point where I love it when you get to like the talking part mm. because sometimes you go to engagement or some wedding ceremony, I'm not saying engagement, you know, a traditional ceremony to get married. Mm-hmm. Some auntie will come and will just be saying things mm-hmm. that are like some deep, deep, deep things, but mm. all is like, like yeah. smart things. Mm. And, I'm curious, and you know you told us that you, you live with your grandma, all mm, of that. Mm. But how how do you decide what you want to pass on through the music or what you want to express with mm. the music? Is it intentional? Do you sit down, have an A&R and say, you know what, let's <laughs> capture this, let's <laughs> capture that, or you're just going off of emotion, the vibe, your energy? Or, you know, maybe an, an experience. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Well, it depends. Um, depends on the song, but also it's about me. It's about how I want to present myself, how I want to live my life. Um, I realized that somewhere along the way that I have a profound impact on people, um, even when I'm speaking, you know. And so, having an opportunity to make music and having a platform, that means. Like the whole world they come listen to me. Yeah. It's like even being on this podcast, not everybody gets opportunity to be on this podcast. Yeah, you know, yeah. like somebody doesn't even know what a podcast is. Yeah. So to have an opportunity to to speak or to have a voice, 
for me, it was important that I use it to do something that is meaningful. And so if, I'm, if I can make music, I would rather make music about, let's say, a Wufu Som than just any, anything. Because mm -hmm. um, that was when I used to be Kwabana Shai. Yeah. Hey, I forgot. <laughs> actually, come that shy. That's me. That's when I used to be coming that shy. That's when I would just make music, you know. Yeah. Like, and it didn't matter, you know, what what the substance or what the yeah. message was. But I'm knowing that oh, this is this is a big deal, you know, because mm. not everybody is, is 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 as talented as I am, you yeah. know. So knowing that, I have to I have to make it um, count. Yes. Mm. Yes. Let me, um, b before I go to my actual question, let me ask you th this question. And it's, it's off what Fred asked, because I think what you're doing is so, so, so important. If you are offered one million <laughs> USD, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> or you, you, you are getting one million, or your work, maybe an album mm. is going to be studied in schools mm. for like 10 years straight. Mm. Which, which one, <laughs> of which one would, would you choose? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the school. <laughs> I'm taking Wh why? The school. Uh, my, my, my music gets, you know, being passed on, being shared with a um, larger audience. That's all that I've always loved to do, mm. that people would listen to my music and... Um, sort of make a change or it will impact your life in a in a positive way mm. yeah that means you like money but mm. you don't really like money when there are other things that you know like like you like money you you know like these fraud boys <laughs> and, and all that they would do anything for the money they don't mm. care what you bring to the table mm -hmm. if it's not money if they are not going to fraud someone to get like they have to fraud mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. is all about money mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you love money mm -hmm. but if there is another thing on the table mm -hmm. that makes sense mm -hmm. you actually go for yeah. <coughs> yeah. You, you actually go go for yeah. you know that's 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 dope levels to three <laughs> on that same album mm -hmm. your 2017 album mm -hmm. And I'm like, Chai, you, this is crazy. Fred, come. <laughs> like, when you come, you have sex and you come. <laughs> In Chi, there are two levels. It's just <laughs> like when someone falls, what's <laughs> and, 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 and the wabofum. <laughs> Depending on which one we, we use, someone can tell your level of Chi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't, I, I, I've forgotten the title, but you were talking about in one of, one of, one of, one of the songs. You didn't say you said yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you said and if you know Sane, literally, literal tra translation is like you get loose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm you get loose mm -hmm. and it makes All so much sense <laughs> than <laughs> uh <-huh, Abba. laughs> yeah. i have come yeah. like it is the literal translation from english mm -hmm. yeah and mm -hmm. it doesn't really make sense mm -hmm. than you are loose yeah. Lit when you come mm -hmm. you can't do anything mm -hmm. else you come loose yeah seriously yeah. and <laughs> People come and go back to having sex, mm. but the thickness, mm. the strength mm. of the penis mm. is mm. not as mm. as when uh, uh, it's, it's not as <laughs> as round one. <laughs> it mm. gets loose. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Charlie, how do you choose these words? Because Fred, <laughs> tree is difficult. Mm. Yeah. If you mm. want to speak proper tree, mm. it is so difficult. Mm. And anytime I listen to Akans, I, like I'm, I'm not saying this because you are here. <laughs> it is true. I, I always get something. I always hear something and go like, mm. "Wow, did this mm. my un uncle speaking?" <laughs> How do you choose your way? Like, do you intentionally go like, Chal, "Let me go hard so these people don't <laughs> don't get me," so so these people say I'm deep? <laughs> like, is it intentional? Like, why don't you dumb it down for people like us? Oh, Charlie, to to like to like get. 
I mean, um, sometimes if you hide something small, mm. sometimes some things need to be layered, you know. Um, as a senior kind of, uh, in even in our country tradition, and maybe be a bit my kind of trust. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's not everything that you can mm. just say. Like yeah. sometimes you have to sugarcoat something. Mm. Sometimes you have to, you know, um, bend it small and things like that. And also, it also proves how artistic, artistic I can be. Mm. You know, um, finding, you know, smart and intellectual and artistic ways to say things. You know, instead of saying it like how it used to be. Um, and also gives me the opportunity to sort of make new, like make attempts on making and inventing new words, inventing new sentences, finding new ways we can say things, um, uh, fusing languages, um, like fusing Asante tree and Achim tree, fusing Kuo tree and a, you know, Ekiapim tree. You know, we don't normally do that, but mm. through the music, I get a chance to play around some of these things and, mm. you know, sort of make new, inter make new inventions in, in the, in the in the language mm. crazy so even going with the same line of questioning with uh what Mutongo is saying mm. when when you're speaking it sounds like when we were younger and they would say ochiame <laughs> should be talking on behalf mm. of the chief mm -hmm. even that concept um of somebody speaking on behalf of somebody there's a culture and tradition there mm -hmm. what i was taking from your music and i was like i was going to ask you this i was like mm, i don't want to sound too cuckoo <laughs> or crazy but you know it's almost like when i listen to the music i feel like your smile mm -hmm. i feel like <laughs> maybe you've hunched up in the corner with some dwarfs and <laughs> some of our ancestors somewhere they've made some calabash for you they're like Charlie, go and tell the people <laughs> this. Yeah, this and thing that. we did they forget, you know. <laughs> Kaya Muse, and you say because it can get to a level where it feels like out of body or mm. a spiritual kind of experience where somebody's mm. saying something to you, but the language is so elevated that you're like, okay, you're almost like in a in a trance kind of feel, like I have to hear everything that they're saying. And Mutombo said, playback value. Mm. How we grew up with music mm -hmm. was about playback value a lot. Yeah. Pits and points. Hey, or say they no who's saying no. And we will as boys yeah, 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 and yeah. we we'll play and we'll, and you are doing that. But do you think that my question is, mm. do you think that the audience mm. are you meeting your match mm. with the audience? Mm. Are they as keen as you are keen to tell them? Mm. the messages even if it's not the drafts didn't send you <laughs> what you are <laughs> what you are sharing do you feel like your audience are truly like engaged connecting mm. wanting to mm. you know as much as you're pouring into them they mm. are ready to, for you to mm. you know receive what you're, you're giving do you mm. feel that from your uh, family? i used to okay i used to but i think now the the attention span gets you know smaller and smaller mm. so people People like they play, but people are not really, you know, wanting to play back. They want to, they want to scroll to the next, like the next song or fast next food. Music. Fast food, yes. Yeah. So, you know, like now people know warm unless somebody who is really interested in the language or the culture who want to play back and listen. Um, but Unipakuma times, you know, like we have like um, art talks and yeah. discuss the album, break it down. But now people, everybody won't go TikTok and <laughs> yeah. move to the next, the next, the next video. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to ask you quickly mm. before Mutombo comes. In. Mm. Um, you guys talked about translation earlier on in the conversation, yeah. mm. and have you ever thought of maybe cartoonizing mm. your because it's a lot of storytelling, mm. and the tree is going to be the tree mm -hmm. as I believe it. Mm. That at least the most Popular language we know mm. is English, mm. and we have access to media. Do you think if you present chunks of your music, where it's speaking on a specific thing, where you can use the cartoon version, and then maybe the translation is on the screen, but the tree is playing, mm -hmm. do you think that would help some of your fans who have run into you? They're like, oh, they wish they knew what you were talking about. Mm. Because I remember as a kid watching cartoons, and some of the cartoons were silent, like. 
not talking cartoon. You see, mm. and then there's nobody. Like Tom and Jerry, did they ever talk? No. 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 But we understood everything <laughs> that they were doing. Yeah. yeah. You know? And so I'm thinking about maybe, do you think, or is it about maybe a budget that doesn't oh. allow? Oh, no. no. <laughs> I think um, it has been like my style. Um, okay. I haven't like sort of taken the animation approach. Okay. I think that's a, like, that's a, a beautiful way to, to go. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, it's yeah. possible. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I would love yeah. to see it because yeah. I, I, we, it would be beautiful to see it on mm. screen. Yeah. And then now we, we find little ways to leave our culture sprinkled on mm -hmm. the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, Pia Khan, why don't you tweet, tweet in three? Ah, uh, you see, that's that, that's also the point because what like what then nobody's going to understand at all, mm. you know. Like then nobody because my captions are in English, mm. you know. So these are like I said, bait to get people in because mm. even I'm rapping into you already. People are even their the accounts themselves yeah. find it challenging yeah. to understand everything. So if I'm mm. tweeting in in Chi that one there, that means say I don't let anybody. Yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so um. Why, why pure I, I, I can? Mm. Why the name pure I can? Mm. Yeah, a <laughs> pure I can, dear Charlie. I've been down there. Everybody knows, see me, my own, my own be solid, mm. you know, because I feel like other people are rapping in in tree, other people are doing this whole I can't thing. But mm. if you listen around, you can see mine is quite different, quite, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, but but I, I, I'm, I'm even talking regarding your, your, your platform, your social media platforms. Mm. First, it was. I can, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then later on, you added pure. Pure can, yeah, yeah, just to make make it stronger, just mm -hmm. to tell mm -hmm. people that mm -hmm. yeah, you are. You I'm, are. The, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Yeah, and also, guy. like, if you the search, if when you the search, when you type I can, you see like Asante, mm. Okon Fanoche, and things like that. Oh, you okay. Know? So when you added the pure, now everybody yeah, knows that. Yeah, yeah it was, yeah, it was it's me. It's yeah. Um. I want I want to come to your your style your mm. your style your mm. appearance mm. but before I come to that um how do you pick and choose people who you want want to work work with and I'm not even talking about the, the front end mm. I'm talking about the back end your mm. team mm. do you have a team like mm. how do you pick and choose mm. people mm. that you want to work with and I'm asking this also in relation to having enough funds to mm. sort everybody out mm. you know mm. I, I i know it's not easy no. so how do you pick, <laughs> pick and choose people who you want who you want to work, work with um so we look at the energy mm. the energy me the energy be important to me mm. um if the energy is right um and also people who are open to work open to learn this thing be processed like we already learn right so people who are open to learn and also people who understand what I'm what I'm trying to do. Yeah. You know, like uh, it's not just music that I'm making. Mm -hmm. If it's music, I will put out ten thousand music, you know. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we are trying to do something. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, so it's like people who understand that uh, we are up to something and they want to they want to also want to be willingly they willingly want to be part of the part of the process. Mm. Um so that is what we are we are we are looking for. And uh Charlie the money there we did we did talk yeah. <laughs> we did talk but we we share amongst ourselves as much as we did get you know so and i think all all of us involved in the team are aware of what is happening mm. you know we all know the situations at hand you know like so everybody everybody is everybody's on their toes and we are all you know we already keep hammer yeah mm. do you do you want want to be signed yes i definitely want to be mm. signed <laughs> yeah i think um I think I've been independent and I've worked with a very small team for a while. And I think it is time for me to take my career to the next um, level or phase or um, whatever the word is. And um, I think it will require a bigger team than I have, I have had um, mm. previously. Yeah, so I'm definitely open for um, working open with for the team. business. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, you have this track, Aprodo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike Mills made the beat, mm -hmm. never ever forget. Mm -hmm. You spazzed <laughs> on that track. Yo, anytime I listen to that track, I do you know who I like? A pheromone, mm. you know, mm. like 
some most death mm. I like you spars you demolished <laughs> that track mm. and it's something that, that I just want, want to tell you it's one 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 of my favorite tracks from you Aprodo yeah, number one um, what does Aprodo mean because I know it from a, boarding school yeah Aprodo uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah it's the same okay yeah, so I thought maybe he has a uh, 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 other <laughs> like three meaning <laughs> like yeah Pro. okay yeah Tia Pro Akodunwa Oh, a, a, a pro is, is it's what? like like we go on a journey we go on like a pro they, yeah yeah quite pro wow. like we go on a excursion we go uh -huh, on a that's short the part journey. i wanted to know because yeah. I, I didn't know that part yeah i didn't know i didn't even know a, a, a pro oh, was, yeah, yeah. was aware yeah. oh yeah tia pro call uh it's if you man temu i've got heard the echo so on yeah and listen to like oh. the, uh peace fm or something yeah, like that. yeah. oh okay okay, okay. <laughs> so a pro means you are going on a journey yeah. Yeah. so a pro do yeah Wow. Don't wanna, yeah. yeah, like a tear pro, I could do one. Yeah, dope, yeah, dope, yeah. dope. Yeah. Charlie, your style. <laughs> um, I, 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 I don't know who who works with you when it comes to style, but you are you are different. You know, um, you always you are always on on point. Mm, you know what inspires your style and how do you even pick and choose your clothes mm. because with what you are wearing now i'm sure you've seen some video clips from the podcast <laughs> and you've seen the chair <laughs> so <laughs> so it blends seamlessly <laughs> like like you, you, you like <laughs> Oh, chai guys, you get a girl tie. Like, but you do today, you blend as the chair. Yeah, chai, yeah. yeah. my mind is. We found they blend today. Yeah, yeah. Ja, ja, my mind is in plan. But like, I, 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 I can. What I'm trying to say is, like, I can, I can. It's always on point. Yeah. Like, what I'll informs and uh, or what inspires mm. your style? Like, do you mm. do you have like like a magazine that you go through <laughs> and go like, hey, I'm going to dress like this, this person today. Mm. Um. The dressing the I be feeling like if I wake up in the morning the way I feel, mm. like I d actually dress the way I feel. So if you study me, you will feel. Sometimes you will feel even tell if like I'm in a good mood or you know, based on the way I dress. Yeah. Um. I wake up in the morning today. I want to be like the the sharp guy or today I want to be the the cool guy. Loose. I want to dress loosely. Um. And like I know a few things. Me artist. I know about colors. I know about textures. Yeah. I know about things like that. So me to me combine a crack. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I've had the opportunity to work with Maoli, who oh, is also shouts, um, shouts. a creative partner. He works in fashion, so yeah. um, I'm get always up, getting stand up. your man. Mm. <laughs> I did get like ideas, tips, yeah. and things like that from him. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Where where do you, where do you get, get your clothes from? Because me, mm. like, I, I've I've not been there in a while, and mm. and I'm always like. Can Cantamanto mm. was a spot for me. Mm. Mm. Like Cantamanto mm. was a spot for mm. me. Mm. I would travel and get clothes and all mm. that but i will still go to Cantamanto. even if i'm not going to wear it i mm. enjoy being in that space because mm. you get different things yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so so where so where do you oh. get to get your <clears throat> i have a, i have like a i have a plug no oh, okay dope 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 like mccorbe plug me with like the freshest mm. things he's got marley also they sort me out like he also go to uh, yeah. source clothes so mm. um he also be my guy um can't say i go to key Mm. So, so you're a star. You're, you're, you're yeah, a star. No. You, 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 you can't just go in. <laughs> yeah, you can't just keep. go in. You can't just go, go and walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's between uh, like my fashion plug and and Maoli. Maoli. Yeah. Mm. You, no, um, do, 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 um, when it comes to color, mm -hmm. um, your mood is is your mood affected by color? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, it does. Really? Yeah. yeah so red. Does. Red, obviously, it yeah. makes me hot, hyper. Mm. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, I know, I know for a fact. Like yeah. I know, you know, like yeah, I've been wearing green for this couple of like mm. weeks. Yeah, even see. the cover, the about the the Odedriani. Odedriani, yeah, 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 the cover is green. Yeah, you know, like. And 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 what what does green mean to you? I'm seeing growth, a lot mm. of growth, even with my my new project. The project, I'm working on a new project coming out this year. Mm. Um, 
And after listening to the project, it, it also, like one of the reasons why I'm saying, I feel like now I'm open to work with like a bigger team. Mm. You know, like I've, 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 I've experimented, I've worked on so many styles, beats, genres, and I think the time is now. You know, um, so much growth. If I listen to my the album I'm working on, I can see a lot of growth in my in my music. Mm, yeah. Wow. yeah. Mm, tell me, I, I don't I don't want to shoot video 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 give you. Oh nice. Yeah. Nice. Me, Mindy. I don't want to shoot video Mindy. give you. Mindy. With a camcorder. Cool. Yeah, cool. Charlie. That would be nice. You won't take it back, eh? Yeah, yes, Charlie. that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, you is this this is your fourth project you're working on? Is that what you're saying or third? Yes. Also, so, uh, that's an that's a, a live album count. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> it does. Okay. Yeah, it does. Then yeah, this yeah, would be yeah, my the live album, this yeah. would be my fourth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you 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 said a few things about. What's the experience of being an artist here in Ghana, one who's presenting music in, in the language that you're presenting it in? But one of the things that has been sitting on our hearts in this podcast is this thing about royalties mm -hmm. um, and the way forward about that. Because we have so many people that are so impactful to our lives through the art that they've labored to create mm -hmm. that... Um, a country doesn't want to repay them. And there's all kinds of excuses, but I think the radio stations are complicit. I mm. think the Gumsa, whatever they call themselves, <laughs> they are complicit. And it's born out of a lack of respect mm. at the end of the day for what you guys do. So for someone that's you know putting so much into this and seeing so many legends people that you value i know you mentioned uh, a few of them mm. <clears throat> how do you feel about the future hmm. putting in this work <laughs> what are you expecting to to turn out do you do you sit back and try to mastermind how you because the secret says mm. you know you want money a house full of money mm. and the money is sitting in somebody else's house do you think through those things collectively with your fellow <laughs> artists about how to break the system? Mm. Or is this something that's even on your radar? Yes, it is. I have been thinking about it. Um, because recently I've been looking into mentorship um, because I feel over here too, that's also one of the things that um, some of the challenges, one of the major challenges is mentorship. Like when an artist sort of retires, they venture into a new business. So they mm. take all the skill out of out of the industry mm. you know unlike football when somebody resigns the person becomes a coach mm -hmm. and so the skill is still in still, there yeah, yeah. it's still there but with the music it doesn't happen so um i'm looking into mentorship now and also looking into um artist pension plans um because i realize like the person will grow then nothing for him yeah i think we should also start looking into artist pension plans um how we can sort of take some of the money that artists is making um, and put it in somewhere that they can assess um, when they are no longer making uh, like active active mm. work. Yeah, so yeah. Now, I've asked this question before, so I want to ask you again. Mm. If the royalties is not being paid by the radio stations, mm -hmm. and you, the artists, by and large, are not benefiting from it, mm -hmm. why don't you guys just boycott them and tell them not to play your music? Because they're not paying you anyway. What's there mm -hmm. to lose? The exposure, or is, you feel like that's helping you mm -hmm. do shows and whatnot, or mm -hmm. what is the benefit of the radio stations outside of the fact that they're not paying you. Mm -hmm. What do you guys stand to lose if you boycott them? And do you have a reason why you don't mind them playing your music? Um, because it's, uh, it's, like a, it's like a channel, like a tied in um, situation. Um, because even though the radio is not, they, they are not paying the royalties. I, I know the radios are paying the royalties, but the paying system and how much they're supposed to pay is, is where the challenge is. Mm. So it's like, um, <clears throat> There isn't proper ways, proper means to track um, how how many times a can song is being played. So they are paying like, okay, every month we are this organization pays hundred CDs for using of music for entertainment fee. Let's say entertainment fee, and then when the organization takes all the money, they say, okay, artists, A-list artists, let's say Sark, 
Stone, whoever, mm. they get this cut, you know, and B list artists also get, let's say, 30 CDs. Mm. And then C list artists also get 20 <laughs> CDs, you know. But we all, we are all being um, played or streamed at different times and different mm. numbers. So, mm. but because there's no s better system to track all these things, we are not getting what we are supposed to get. But back to your question, it's like, it's a channel. So even though the radio is not paying the royalties, um, people get to hear you on the radio yeah. and it translates into shows. It translates into endorsement deals. You know, so sort of boycotting them becomes <laughs> like, like shooting, shooting yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I believe there are, you know, ways we can negotiate, have conversations and find um, ways to solve, solve this. Um, we have Lupe Fiasco knife wonder and who else like they are in schools uh, lect lecturing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and i feel that it's something that you you can do oh yes it's something I've, that i've, you I've been a teacher before yeah oh really <laughs> yes mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but this time with with your with your with your stuff mm -hmm. i feel it's so it's so poetic. Mm. It has weight, and people can learn so much from it. I don't know if it's it's a space that you are looking into. Mm. If you are not, I think that you <laughs> should you should look into it. Mm. Like once a week, if you did some school, if yeah. if it's not even one school or mm. one uni, once a week if you did some school. I think one you will be giving out is some 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 brain, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And two, you'll be make, making money. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it, it's 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 you know something that you know you should look at. Now, if we take <laughs> your if we go to your Spotify or your Apple Music or whatever, mm. what are we going to see? Who are you listening <laughs> to? Oh, right now. Right now, the, I'm listening to today. I listen to Sir. No, oh, 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 wow. Yeah, I listen to School Work You. Mm. Do you, you like? Did you like his, his? Did you like his new new album, School Work You? Uh, I I don't think I've listened enough. Yeah, to, you okay? okay yeah, to, to, yeah. I need some time. Make can mm, listen more. Mm. But so far is is yeah, mm. it be cool cool songs. Yeah. cool songs. Um, Dope. I'm listening to Cleo So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I've never been able to say the name right. Cleo So. Cleo So, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. listening to her. I'm listening to Naomi Sharon. Um, and I'm also listening to who? Uh, Men I Trust. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Dope. So yeah. you are not listening to any, anyone f from Ghana from or Ghana. in Ghana? No. Why? No. Uh, I just think it's like, uh, like a face. Mm. Um, yeah but yeah Tum Tum hooked me up with some high life yeah. like albums plenty mm. of high life albums that I'm here to listen um, mm. but yeah it's, mm. a, it's a face have <laughs> you heard of um, Fatumata Diawara yes yes okay. mm. so <clears throat> it kind of feels like you to mm -hmm. me but she sent me down a wormhole to research a whole lot about her culture where she comes from the part of Africa that her tribe belongs to. And I was very touched by how profound the culture is. Mm. But when you listen to her, from my opinion, I don't understand nothing she's saying. It's so majestic. Mm. <laughs> and then I went back to listen, like, this week. And I realized that her most recent album... <clears throat> I don't know if somebody has gotten an ear or something, but <laughs> she ventured into English. Mm. I was so heartbroken. <laughs> you know the cat. <laughs> because the, the music, the soul has had left the yeah. music. Yeah. The language and the way she expresses herself mm. is like somebody's yeah, the Adibia Swan Le by force. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I say all that to say to you that I mean like maybe you've chosen a narrow path. Mm. <laughs> but I think you're a blessing. Mm, uh, blessing. You're a serious blessing. Blessing, blessing. But those, all of, even the people who are not aware, but I believe that through time, mm. 
Mm. Your work is a record. Mm. It's actually because we're horrible at archiving in this country and keeping records and whatnot. What you're mm. doing for us is so precious because it's, it's a record that will never disappear. Mm. So I don't know where you find the strength from. Like I said, if it's the dwarfs you're concerned, <laughs> mm. please go and see them some more <laughs> and give us more of the dopeness. Mm. Let yeah. us so, feel. So I can't. So yeah. so currently, like in Ghana, who mm. is doing it for you? I think Stoneboy is doing it. Mm. Yeah, Stoneboy is doing it. Um, I like the the way he they move. Like I feel like <clears throat> I feel like most of most of Ghanaian artists. At the same time, we they hit like a cap, yeah. and then we are not able to go international. Yeah. I keep on asking myself, why couldn't you not go international? Why Amachi did not go international? Why did Lumba not go international? Mm. It's like they could be so big as they possibly can, but we never go international. Yeah. You know, so I see Stone they make moves, and I get excited. I think have you uh, have you have you touched base with them? Um, I met him, but mm. it was like normal conversation. Okay. We didn't talk about music. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. And you said Black, Black I think Black, Black is also, yes, making some good That's music. That's crazy. How do you, so how do two musicians in the industry meet mm. and you don't discuss music? That's, I'm wondering <laughs> how that plays out. No, it was like, it was, it was an, it was, some, somebody was meeting Stone and mm. I happened to be with a person. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So it was like a quick, hello, like, mm. oh, I did, like your music, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, actually, ah, okay. yeah, I did for you anytime. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. If you had to change something, I know Fred sp sp spoke about ro royalties and, and all that. Mm. If you had to change something, um, I mean, don't just for, for, forget about Fred's you know, royalty. <laughs> but if you had to change something mm. in the world mm. or in Ghana, <laughs> you had a power to change one thing yeah. in Ghana. It mm -hmm. could be about you, mm. it could be about a family member, it mm. could be about the president, mm. it could be about our food. What would you change? <laughs> I'll change the education system. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's wrong with, with the education system? Uh, I, th I think we're still learning from the colonizer. Yes. Mm. And um, that way, you know, the build way towards the freedom that we think say we have. Mm. You know, no, no, because that since we really learn for school, there's a school behind my house. They still they sing, you know, some some songs. We you know say, oh, I think this song, you know, like by now, what we have like some Amatai do song or like some Akan song say yeah. if we and if it's or some Konimo song we and if it's sing for school, you know, because it be it be some way. I'll think I'll change the education system. Mm. Yeah. So, so, so you think A for Apple should change to A for maybe Accra or or, or something? Yeah, yeah. Or something maybe like that. A for Adri. Yeah, you a see. A for Adri. You know. But <laughs> it's still the same. You're learning about a fruit, yes. but it's something that's indigenous to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apple no they grow for you. Mm -hmm. Why do you worry about Apple? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It be like you know, like it, it be like it be small, small things that we yeah. know they pay attention to. You know, like uh, you know, the help. What won't? What will we never see? I can wear. <laughs> you see, oh, uh, I know if you tell. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What won't you ever wear? Ah, oh. I would have said. A, I would have said a fake smile. Mm. I can I'll fake a smile to make somebody happy. So mm. um, mm. what 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 won't we catch I can eat? <laughs> Which I mean I love plenty things. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I love plenty things. Maybe crabs. Mm. Yeah, crabs and snails. Oh, why? It makes me vomit. Oh wow. I mean for me they are delicious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I used to, yeah. but I don't know. Do you have a family? Like As married, family, yeah. Are you no, married? Not yet, are not you, yet. Do you not have yet. kids? <laughs> not yet. Do, not, do, yet. <laughs> not yet. Dope. And yeah. with your with your with your locks, mm -hmm. I I I have a thing, a love hate relationship <laughs> with people who have locks. <laughs> mm. I hate you, it when they. What you do? You. <laughs> I hate it when they cut it. Oh, oh yeah, me too. Yeah, a, a friend me of too. mine. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm I play basketball with mm. the last time. Like, I think two three weeks ago, mm. I went there and he's cut all his locks oh, and wow. his reason was his cousin died and he went to watch the body and and he had to cut it 
Is, is that thing true? Like some people say that um, Rastafarians don't watch dead bodies, um, but I've, I've I've watched relatives, dead relatives. Mm. So yeah, I feel like if you are, if you are my relative and there's no bad intention behind it, I can can pay my last respect. Yeah. 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 Oh, so it's supposed to be some sort of superstition that if you watch the dead body there's a transfer of energy yeah because yeah, you yeah. have the dress sort of yeah the hair you know something yeah. and the delilah there's so much power in the in, in the in the hair yeah. charlie i can't we can't we thank you for coming through the podcast so wait so so like so like this year are you doing shows should we yes. express shows yes, yes yes like you know i'm doing some shows um this year I mean, my experience is coming. Dope. Um, I mean, my experience is becoming, like, we're turning it into a concert, like mm. an annual concert yeah. where every year we're doing yeah. it. Um, I'm also dropping a bunch of projects this year. No, oh, okay. no one project. No one project. Yeah. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, and your platforms, Pure Akan everywhere. Mm. Yes. Instagram, um, How Twitter. How would you say, uh, if more or less dividing tree? <laughs> if, it does what? Uh, <laughs> but I'm sure you have a, a better word. Yeah, that's what I say. Well, it depends on, say, let's divide. depends on the intention of dividing it. Yeah, Why okay. do you want to divide? Are we dividing to share? Are yeah. we dividing to distract? Are we dividing mm. to, you know, like, whatever? Okay, so let's say divide to share. Mm, if one, let's divide. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah, we are dividing to understand better. Mm. For better understanding. Tega sebiya, yen 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 bubum. No, there's so many ways you can say it. Yen pense pense mu cry. Ah, you do. That's the one. Chale, pense. No, chale. That won't be the way that it is. Pense pense mu chale. Chale chale. Chale, yeah, chale yeah. guys, chale, chale guys. Yeah. It's been it's been a solid conversation. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you have to go on Spotify, Apple Music, check out Pure Akan stuff. You know, three proper projects there plus several singles. Um, you have to listen to him um, and also follow him everywhere. Pure Akan, like Pure Akan, um, everywhere. Chale Akan, we thank you for coming yeah. through. Can the I podcast. say something to the yeah. audience real quick, please? Mm. Young people that watch us, listen to us, go and listen to the man and find some energy to mm -hmm. go and do some research. There's so much fun in discovery. Mm -hmm. When yeah. you listen to lyrics that you don't understand, but you take your time to get in the weeds of what the artist is really trying to say. That's the challenge I'm throwing out there for you. Yeah, guys. yeah, Charlie. Please do so, and Charlie. Um, also share the podcast. Um, retweet us, follow us, Charlie. Help, uh, subscribe. help us. Subscribe. You, have to, you, you just have to help us mm. grow. That's mm. all we are asking. Mm. And so we can stick and stay because, Charlie, you know, it's it's difficult, you know, mm. doing this. So, Charlie. Yeah, yes, guy, Daima. Yeah, yes, guy, Daima. <laughs> Charlie, I can't we thank you once oh, again for coming it. through um, the If More Let's Divide podcast. Fred. Yes, sir. We are through. Thank you. 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 Charlie, that's in you. <laughs> <laughs>